Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how you can test if your VPN is actually working and your IP address is changed and anonymous from what your real one is. Now in this example, I am using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but this will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, Android TV devices, and other internet connected devices where you can install a VPN. So guys, in this example, I am using Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And guys, I do have a special discount link for Surfshark VPN that can be found below this video that does help support myself and the channel. And guys, I also just believe Surfshark to be one of the best VPNs in general. So as you'll see here, I am connected to a Kansas City server on Surfshark VPN, and you will see I have a changed IP address as I am not actually physically located in Kansas City. So now that you see your IP address on whatever server you're connected on, let's go ahead and test if this is actually working. So guys, I'm gonna show you two methods to do this. The first method I'm gonna show you is actually called DNS leak test. So guys, if you open up the Silk browser or any Amazon you know, web browser and you come up to the top here, I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel out all these messages that pop up here. I'm gonna go ahead and type in DNS leak test. And there are other websites that do similar functionalities, but I personally like DNS leak test as I've seen the results are pretty accurate. So I believe it's dnsleaktest.com and double check that and click go. And as you'll see here, DNS leak test is showing what IP address is running on my device. And as you'll see, that is the exact same IP address and the exact same city that Surfshark VPN was showing me. So now I can verify that my VPN is working. And guys, if for some reason you don't want to use a web browser or DNS leak test, I'm gonna show you another method to test if your VPN is working. So in this example, I will need to install the downloader application. So if you do not have downloader, please follow along here. And if you do, feel free to skip ahead to the later steps. So I'm gonna install downloader and I'm gonna hover over find and click search. And I'm going to install the downloader app from the Amazon App Store. As you'll see, it pops up here. Click downloader, click downloader, the orange icon under apps and games, and then wait a few seconds and then click download. And then wait a few seconds for downloader to install on your Fire Stick. All right, after downloader has installed, there are a few settings I need to change. So click the home button on your remote, scroll over the settings icon, scroll down and click my Fire TV, click about, and then click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button, click developer options, click install unknown apps, then click downloader and it should say on. So now downloader has turned on the ability to install unknown applications. So now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home button I'm gonna scroll down and find Downloader, click that to launch it. Click Allow, click OK, and you have now installed the Downloader app. So after installing the Downloader app, simply click the search box, and I'm going to enter the following code, 298344, double check that and click Go. And guys, this code will redirect you to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. You'll just have to wait a few seconds in the background while you are being redirected. And as you'll see here, I am now on the Quick Links page. So the first thing I would suggest you do guys is click this button with the three lines, click Add Current Page to Favorites, click Save, and our Quick Links page is now saved to your favorites. So to install an application that shows if your VPN is working, you'll need to scroll all the way down here until you see Utilities. So once you see the utilities option, I'm going to install an application called VPN Monitor Dot. So go ahead and click that. And guys, wait a few seconds while it downloads, then click install. 
and then wait a few seconds for this app to install. Click done. Click delete as I'm going to delete the installation file. And now I'm going to click the home button on my remote and I'm going to hold it down. Click apps. And you should see VPN monitor dot right here. So I'm going to click that to launch it. And once you launch VPN monitor dot, go ahead and click OK when this message comes up. And just let it run in the background for a few seconds while you're loading it up. And here you'll see an option where it says VPN monitor dot off with a toggle. I'm going to go ahead and click this toggle. Then I'm going to click OK. And then click OK again. And as you'll see, it now says on. So the green dot is you are protected by your VPN, red dot you are not protected. And there's a couple settings here in the menu you can adjust. But guys, if I hit the home button on my remote, you should see a green dot blinking in the upper right hand side of your screen. So I'm gonna click Surfshark for like a darker interface here. And guys, I'm gonna wait and keep talking here as you should see the green dot that keeps beeping in the top right of my screen. Now there are settings to adjust this so it does not show up as much, but guys, once that green dot is there, I know my VPN is connected and I am protected. If this were to some reason turn red and not green, that would tell me that my VPN has disconnected for some reason and I need to go back and connect it. So that's it guys, that is how you test if your VPN is working on any Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, Android device, or any internet connected device with a VPN. Again, this is Bodhi. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.